Hi guys, this is Tash, the Starcross Stitcher. It's the 18th of April and I'm coming to you today to film a quick update on all my Year of Whips pieces. Um, I have only worked on 10 pieces. Um, one of them is the secret project, so I won't show you that. So I think I have nine projects here to show you. All the other projects I haven't even worked on yet this year and we're a third of the way through. So, okay, let's get started. The first project that I've worked on and finished is Angle of Love. This is by Cross-Eyed Cat Designs, and it's finished! Yay! That's one. One out of... I had 25 on my list, so I need to finish 13. So there's one. <laughs> um, oh, this is um, 16 Count White Ada. Yep. Um, okay. The second piece I've worked on is called Fir Tree... Actually, yeah, okay. We'll go a little bit out of order. This is Fir Tree Mountain. This is by the Cat's Whiskers Design Studio. Um, the needle book is finished. The entire piece also has a scissor case and a scissor fob, so I need to do those two parts as well. Uh, this is 28 count cashel. Um, I don't know what else to say about this. It's really pretty. I'm hoping to finish this this month. Uh, okay, next is... I'm just going to have to move a little bit. There we go. This is... Uh, the Celtic Sampler Part 1, Wallace, by The Needle's Praise. Um, I've been working on this part up here for a really long time. Let's get it in the light. Yeah. There's a lot of queen stitches there, guys. Um, so I've been working on this, uh, just that top part there, this year. Um, still have a long way to go. I hope to finish this this year. Obviously, it's going to be um, maybe not possible. That's the third piece. Let's put that one away. Number four is Fire and Ice um, by Custom Crafts, I think. Um, yep, I've worked on this. Basically, I finished off this page here. I worked on this part of the main and this part of the sky. Then I came down here and did a little bit on the third page, but I ran out of steam. This is hard. This is my oldest whip, and I really, really wanted to finish it this year, but... I, it's so hard to work on. I don't know if I will. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Next is... Gaze a while. Sorry, I'm just uh, running out of room to put everything. This is Gaze a while. Um, it's a 40 count silk gauze kit from The Heart's Content. I think. <laughs> um, yeah, it is The Heart's Content. Um, so this year I've done quite a lot of work on this this year because I've been taking it with me when I go away or when I go babysitting and stuff like that. It's my on the go project. So basically the house was already done and three or four things in the sky were done but everything else I've done since then. I was hoping to finish this this month but it's not going to happen. Of course it's full coverage. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, 40 counts of claws. I already said that. Good. The next piece is um, Regal Peacocks by Teresa Wensler. This is a finish. Yay! That's only the second finish I'm showing you tonight. I don't have that many finishes so far this year. I have a long way to go to get to 13. Um, this is obviously by Teresa Wensler. Uh, it is 36 count opalescent, some sort of even weave. Um, it's really weird opalescent. It's like... Uh, shiny stuff has just been sprayed onto the surface. See? Not sure if you can see. I love this camera, guys. Looks awesome. Um, yep, the colours are gorgeous. So that is Regal Peacocks. Next up, I'm going to have to do a big move again because this is large. Japanese Octagon Box. I've been doing a lot of work on this this month and last month. Um, as you can see, I'm very close to finished. <laughs> um, I need to finish this panel here, panel 8. I'm about halfway done. I need to finish this black here and then the beads and that's it. I, I'm hoping to finish this by the end of the week. Um, if so, awesome. That'll be my a really good thing to finish because it's a big one and it's one of my oldest whips too. Okay, next up. Next up we have one that is a finish. Um, but I can't show you because it's the secret stitch that we had to do to represent the Soulful Stitching Group. Um, so yeah, unfortunately I can't show you, but it's finished. And I will show you at the end of the year when the re big reveal happens. 
Um, next is another finish. Let me pull that up a little bit more. This is Shroom Hilda uh, by Dimples Designs, Terence Nolan. I finished this in February, I think. Um, I think she's super cute. I love her. Drew, did you ever get this chart? I sent it to you with the mail. Uh, yeah, she's so cute. She's so pretty. Singing Shroom Hilda. Lots of beads on her. I like her. I still like her every time I look at her. And the last one I have to show you today is Tranquility Stitch Along. Um, the Tranquility Sampler, I started this as a stitch along uh, more than 10 years ago. It's by Stickadine von der Wienberg. Um, it is on 1 over 1 on 32 count opalescent Lugana. The colour is Cashmere Glitz from Silk Weaver. Uh, and I'm just using random Gentle Arts and Weeks Dye Works colours as I see fit. Um, and I've been working on this this year. I've done probably everything from about here down. Everything from about there down I've done this year. So it's quite a lot. I still have a long way to go, but I will get it done. So that is the 10 pieces I have worked on this year. Um, I, as I said, I have a lot more work to do before the end of the year, but we're only a third of the way through. Um, I hope you're all doing well. I'm looking forward to seeing everybody else's Year of Whips updates. And is that all I have to say? Yeah, so the other pieces I haven't shown because I haven't worked on them yet. So they'll be just the same as my last Year of Whips video. Um, all right, that's it. I'll see you in the next video, which will be a talk about the charts I'm going to start in Mania. Yay! Okay, bye!